me this video is going to be worth it. All right, so I'm going to make, I'm going to draw you, I'm going to represent your voltage drop calculations. I can't put my hand on the screen here. As an one equation, it's going to be a thousand times voltage drop. Because that's the variable I made in the last video. Equals the K factor from the D3 table times a D rating factor that's going to come from note three. I'm just going to call it D rate because we can call, we can call um, variables whatever we want times F, which is the F factor that you see in table D3 from note two, times the current, which is the load current in amps, times the L, which is the conductor length in meters. And that's the formula that you have to use for 8102 voltage drop calculations in the Canadian Electrical Code, or otherwise I call it the D3 calcs. And we said that they were scary and they were awful, but they're not. That's all there is. So when you're approaching your test, you just need to know that. Uh, now, let me show you. The thousand is actually just to uh, to to uh, do to help us with some conversion factors. Voltage drop is in volts. I'm going to put the units here. K, if you notice in uh, table D3, that K has the units of ohms per meter. And as an engineer, we always have to make sure that our um, our units work out. This D rating factor is just, it's either going to be 0 0.95, 1.05, or 0.86, and it is unit less. Um, F is a voltage drop factor that is unit less. Bear with me here. We're going to go through all of this. And I is load current in amps. And L is the length in meters. And you see here then. Uh, we we have an equal sign in between here. So uh, ohms per meter, amps, and meter. Well, we have to remember here that V equals I R. And if we express that again, it's a voltage in volts. Okay, these square brackets are the units. Equals current in amps times resistance in ohms. So I have uh, A and R here. So A, sorry, A and uh, resistance here. So A times R, therefore A times resistance, amps times um, ohms is equivalent to voltage. So I have voltage on this side. I have meters in the numerator. I have meters in the denominator. They cross out and I get ohms times amps, and an ohm times amps is a volts. Therefore, my units check out. So uh, it's it's just always good to know and good practice uh, to make sure that our units check out. Now, the thousand is a factor to make sure that uh, the magnitude of our units work out. Now, let's look at each of these um, factors inside our expression. So first of all, for voltage drop, if you don't know how to calculate voltage drop, it's handy to know that it's really a ratio. Ratios are two uh, relative numbers that equal one another. So the voltage drop in volts uh, relative to the voltage that is supplied, so the voltage at the source in volts, is the same as the percentage drop in percent over 100 is the complete amount. So let me let me um, mention that again. And some of you just do this calculation in your head. So let's say voltage, let's say percentage drop is 3%. So we would say that 3% out of 100% is what voltage drop out of say 120 volts that's how we would do that and then we would cross multiply to get the answer so if you don't know how to work out the voltage drop then that is the ratio that's going to help you the ratio of the drop to the source is the same like of the voltage that got dropped to the voltage source is the same as a percentage of voltage drop to 100 percent. in some questions you're given the drop in some questions 
you're given the voltage drops, some, and most questions you're given the source, et cetera. So that's what helps you for voltage drop. Now let's look at K. K is the factor that comes from table D3. Let's do that one in purple. K is from table D3. So table D3 for 75 degrees Celsius. There we go. It's table D3 for 75 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to paste in the table here for you. Let's actually put in this table for you and we can do our calculations on this little cheat sheet. All right, no problem. However, that gets derated. So let's have a nice bright color for this derating. So it actually gets derated. And if it's not 75 degrees Celsius, but you used D3, then D3 note three, so we call this the note three factor, says if it's 60 degrees, then use um, 0 0.95. So we're going to multiply K by 0 0.95. If it's 90 degrees, multiply by, multiply the K by 1.05. And we would put that right here. We're multiplying K. I just called it T right there because I can call variables whatever I want. If it's extra low voltage, then I'm going to use 0.86. All right, there we go. So that's uh, the derating factor. Now, what is F? Well, F is a voltage drop factor. It's called D3 note 2. So D3 note 2 actually tells you to do something else altogether. And that is F. So this is the D3 2, and it is called the voltage drop factor table. And that table tells us that if it is a DC circuit, you're going to F is equal to 2. If it is a 1, phase AC circuit, F is equal to two. If it is a three phase circuit, F is equal to two. Or if it is um, three wire line to line, no ground, then it is 1.73. If it is four wire, it is 1.73. So that's that factor. Now I have two more things. Usually this is kind of given in the question. I have I, so I is a load current in amps. And then we have L. And lastly, L is the conductor length. And that's going to be in meters. How do you use this then to do the voltage drop calculations of 8102? Well, you simply write down this formula and you simply 
plug in what you know and you solve for what you don't know. We can calculate voltage drop. We can calculate K from table D3, which I'm going to post in here and we're going to have a nice little cheat sheet for this. We are going to derate K with the notes of um, D3 note three, which are down here. And then we are going to multiply by F, which is the voltage drop factor table. And then we are going to multiply by load current and we multiply by conductor length. And those are the relationships. Let me just black them out here. And you can take a screen capture for this, of this. And I guarantee that this is going to be a beautiful little cheat sheet for you to study from. All in one page. All you need to know about the voltage drop calculations the new voltage drop calculations of the Canadian Electrical Code 8-102 that deal with table D3. There we go. I'd like to fit table D3 on here. I'm just going to say D3. There it is. And that is how you do the calculations. Let's do a bunch of example problems where I'm going to refer to that. Thank you.